Hello friends, this is Ifa. Today I've come up with a stationery haul which I've got from Stationery Pal. This video is not sponsored but they were kind enough to give me this stationery for free. I picked up different stationeries that cost almost 50 US dollars in total and all of the products are listed in the description. Also I got a discount for you all. You can get 12% off while ordering from Stationery Pal. I'll get a little commission if you use my code TARTOPUS JOURNAL. Okay guys, don't bother with the echo in the background. I can't resist myself not to pop this heart shaped bubble wrap. I just love how beautifully they packed with confetti and paper cuts. I forgot what it's called. I picked most of the pens and coloring things as I'm more into drawing <laughs> rather than crafting and layering. There's a thank you card and some freebies, I mean the products I didn't choose. First I've got this cute wooden stamp written fighting, then this cute ivory color teddy bear. It's so cute and could be hanging in my backpack. Then I've got two plastic clips, one has orange <laughs> with a beer and another one is heart shaped and transparent. I got a cute bag badge and a cute rattle toy. I don't know where to use it though. So let's jump into the supplies that I've chosen. First I got this rotatable multifunctional geometric ruler. You can use it for circles, ovals, protector, etc. In their manual they have shown some shapes that you can draw. I got it for the different shapes, basically the circles, but it's difficult to draw the circles after for the dot. Also we can remove these pieces for separately use. I am going to use it on my May theme. Next I have got these fall colored sticky notes which have different colors, apricot, cheddar, sorbet and mint. It has a nice texture but the papers are very thin. I'll show the pen test on it later and the gum or the stickiness is almost halfway of the sticky note. Then I got two Sumiko Gurashi sticker sheets. I saw them in a video of Heda from Mochibuja for the first time and I felt love with this cuteness. When I saw a bunch of these stickers in the website of Stationery Pal, I immediately chose two of them. Even the backings are very cute. I got one which has more individual stickers on the characters and another one is a mixture of that. Anyways, please ignore the strokes drawn in my hand. I sometimes test inks in my hand. After that I got 
a craft paper sticky note set it has a ruler on the side and you can store this in the binders which i find very useful i'll show the pentas later of this one too i got a bunch of pens that i need and i really wanted to try out i'm glad that stationery people have them with reasonable prices First is my favorite Sakura Pigma Micron Fine Liners. I got three of them in size 08, 005, and 05. I use these three the most. It's waterproof and very easy to use. The felt tip of the 005 was a bit bent and I'm scared because it can break if I use it with a wrong side. <laughs> I got myself a Unipin Fine Liner in size 02. I wanted to try this pen for a long time and finally I got it. It's not so different from the Micron pen but the ink dry faster and the color is deeper black than the Microns. Then I got a white Sakura jelly roll pen inside 08. I wanted to get them for a very long time like 3 years but never bought it. I don't know why. <laughs> it has a great nib, color is very visible on darker papers or on the top of the other colors and ink flows very well. Let's try out these pens on the sticky notes too. The craft paper holds these inks very pretty without bleeding but there's a little ghosting but I think that doesn't matter. Also the white gel pen ink is very opaque on this. As the false sticky note has thin papers, ink ghosted but I'm glad that the inks <laughs> didn't feather it. I got a fountain pen, I guess the name is Platinum Little Shooting Star Fountain Pen. It has a spear cartridge and I like this test tube shaped holder too. The ink's very good and has same consistency as the fine liners. Then I've chosen 5 Tombodol brush pens. You can take a screenshot if you want to get them for yourself. Also, you can find the links in the description individually as well. I'm very big fan of these highlighted shades of Tombos. I'm glad that Stationery Pal have these at reasonable prices. One thing I must say that Stationery Pal has more of the useful and trendy pens you'll find in the market. Last but not the least, I got this Kuretaki Gansai Tambi watercolor palette. It's the steady color, I guess, with different kind of golds. I sometimes use gold acrylic paint, but I am glad that I get these watercolors which have more shimmer and opacity of gold. So let's test it out. I dropped a bit of water and activated the color. It's very creamy and fast to melt. It was very shiny after drying out too. Shimmers are locked and don't move around. I'm going to use this one in my May as well. So stay tuned and the most satisfying part is this floating glitter in the water. <laughs> so this is for this video. I hope you like this and if you do please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And thanks to Station Repel for sending these lovely stationery items.